The Seahawks are in Buffalo. Seattle is three-point road favorites. Pete Carroll is 14-7-3 against the spread during 1 p.m. start times on the East Coast. So all that East Coast shit, that's out the window nowadays, I think. Wilson has a 73.9 completion percentage on the road this year. Wilson's 9-1 straight up versus the AFC East. Seattle's allowing 358.7 yards through the air per game. No team in NFL history through 16 games has averaged more than 300 yards per game through the air that their defense has given up. Not looking well for Seattle's defense. That's why Russell Wilson has to play like an MVP week in and week out just to try and compensate a little bit and keep this Seattle team with their 6-1 record, which is mighty impressive at this point. The Bills are 6-2 on the year, and both teams are allowing, excuse me, 25-plus points per game. Metcalf and Lockett are the first pair of receivers in NFL history with 500 receiving yards and 7 TDs apiece through their teams for 7 games of the year. All impressive stats, everything sounds like Seattle. Why is it that I want to say Buffalo in this one? I am going to pick Buffalo. I don't know why I'm feeling like this is a trap for some reason for Seattle or Buffalo is going to win this, but I'm picking Buffalo to win and cover this game. I hadn't decided on the winner. I had Buffalo marked down to cover the spread. As you can see right there, and I just highlighted Buffalo now as you saw.